Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and this is episode two of the financing model that I am busy building. So in the first video, we looked at um, just in a normal case where a business would finance itself um, in order to increase its sales and profit. So that's what was represented by the green line. Um, so they would make some money and then they'd purchase a bar or a new asset. It would dip down, it would increase, but then their profits would also jump as they'd sell more. Now we ask the question, well, instead of the, the business financing itself, what would happen if it took out a loan? And the loan is going to give it the advantage of getting that bar, getting that asset in earlier which means if we can see here, it grows slowly at a higher rate than, um, than the, the normal one without the loan. Um, the profit is a little bit suppressed due to the interest repayments, but after the interest repayments, I mean, it does jump up and it is greater than the normal profit. So first thing I'm going to show you is, or, or what, what the model does, is it first tells you if the loan is possible and if the loan is better. So if we had to charge, say, a very high interest rate, say 10% or something like that, um, you're going to see the profit is it gets smacked and um, the bank doesn't ever recover from it. So straight away it's just going to say no, it's going to say no. So the loan's not possible because the interest payments are greater than the profit is going to make and... Um, it's, the loan is not better because the amount at the end is less than the amount of the bank when you just go the normal financing route. But 10% a month is quite quite heavy. Um, more, we'd more adjust it just to see like what would happen on say 2%. So on 2% we can see that the loan is not better. So look at that. So a single percentage does change it. Um, let's see if we change the term. The term doesn't really change the, the outcome, it just shows how the loan gets spread out. Um, and I mean, we can even do it, say, although say in five months, if the loan is too short, then the loan is not going to be possible. So that's important when deciding, well, how long should we do the loan? There will be, sorry, I should be showing that, um, there will be some constraints. So term in loan of loan is monthly. Um, you want to... I don't know, spread that out at 30, um, and then you can see on the graphs how it changes. What's also quite cool is um, we can also show, instead of just saying one asset, what happens when there are two assets. So then you get that loan right in the beginning, and um, there we can see, okay, under these conditions, the, the loan is not possible. But let's say we're being very optimistic and that, we're going to sell our assets, but instead of just getting 2,000 extra beers a month, we're going to get 3,000. How does that do it? And bam, there we see the loan is now possible and the loan is now better. So the loan is going to be very much dependent on, you know, this extra monthly sales, um, also the profit. So what, what this tool does is it's kind of saying what, under what conditions is it better to get a loan? and um, well, under what conditions is it possible to get a loan and under what conditions is it better to get a loan. And by playing with various figures, you can see how that results. I mean, if extra monthly sales, we're only expecting, say, 500 units of the product, just in this case, we've been using beer, you can see it goes no, no. But I mean, with 5,000, it's yes, yes. Um, number of new assets, I mean, if we go three, let's see what happens. Um, you can see visually what is happening with the graphs, and I've also showing the actual values over here. So what's also nice is let's say we're going to be expecting this generous amount of monthly sales, let's say 5,000. We can then also see, well, how much of the interest rate are we prepared to pay? So 2%, we're still all good. 3%, ooh, 3%, we're no longer possible. But wait, once if we extend the loan time? Oh, bam, we're back in business. 4%. Oh, we can still take on 4%. 5%? Ooh, 5% doesn't help us. But let's see if we extend the loan. Okay, even if we extend the loan, we're kind of seeing that 5% is our limit. Uh, what about 4.5? Well, then the loan is possible. Well, this is interesting. The loan is possible, but it's not better. And you can see over there what is happening graphically. 
So that's all I wanted to show you guys for uh, episode two of the model. I've called her Clara, and there's a little picture or icon of what she'll look like. I want to give every model I make um, a new picture and a new name, just so that I can remember them better. Because, uh, yeah, as actresses, you are going to be making lots of these things. And the cool thing is that you can reuse your models for different purposes. So this could be used for a beer company, and then it could be used for a chocolate company. It could even be used for Apple selling iPhones and all that type of stuff. So these models are very flexible. They are very generic, and they can be reused because it's good to recycle. But thanks so much for watching. In the next episode, I will be looking at how equity... Um, what happens if we introduce that option and whether you know is equity better than just normal bank and is equity better than the loan so subscribe as I will be I still have to build the model before I can film it and show it to you guys but otherwise thanks for watching guys cheers